I finally achieved my very first freestanding handstand push-up of the three years of calisthenics. One year ago, I started to specifically train for this very hard exercise, and I went through countless of exercises to find out which of these work best. After a long time of trial and error, I finally ended up with the top 5 best exercises to achieve the handstand push-up. Let me know in the comments what you think is the best exercise. So I've tried a lot of routines with different exercises and even though some of them helped me improving my strength, it felt like I made little progress and I just couldn't come close to getting the actual handstand push-up. But here is the first exercise that did actually help me a lot in this journey. The pike push-up. This exercise is very important to learn because the handstand push-up requires a lot of shoulder strength and in order to build this strength, you need a safe exercise which is scalable for every fitness level and which teaches you the right technique without getting you injured. The pike push-up provides this. If you want to learn how to do the perfect pike push-up, then you can click on the link I will put in the description. If you are just starting out, you can start with your hands and your legs both on the ground and eventually you can elevate your hands and your legs to make it harder. Exercise number 4 is the scapula elevations against the wall. I noticed in my journey that it was very hard to push all the way up into a handstand and continue to keep your balance. This is because for the very last bit of this exercise, you will need your scapula to push out as far as possible. And this requires a lot more shoulder blade strength than I thought. Therefore, I started to specifically work on this with this exercise. Find a wall and go into a handstand. You can go back to wall or chest to wall, depending on what you prefer. Now, during the whole exercise, try to keep your arms as straight as possible. Go down using only your shoulder blades until you can't go any further. And at this point, start pushing back up. Push the ground as far as you possibly can to fully elevate your shoulders. When done correctly, it will be a lot harder than it seems. Exercise number 3 is the handstand negative. The handstand push-up requires a lot of balance because you have to apply a lot of force while also having to worry about not falling over. And there's a lot to understand about the whole motion of this exercise. Therefore, I think it is very helpful to break this exercise down into two parts, the eccentric and the concentric. In this case, the eccentric, also called the negative, is where you go from the top part to the bottom part. So for this exercise, jump into a handstand, then make sure you found your balance and that you are in good control, and then start coming down as slow as you possibly can. If you reach the bottom position, try to hold this for a few seconds in order to master every part of this exercise. Then come down and jump into a handstand again to go for the next repetition. Try to do this until you are able to do a few negatives of at least 4 seconds. You can also try this exercise against the wall to eliminate the balancing factor and really focus on strengthening your shoulders. Now the second best exercise for achieving your handstand push-up is in my opinion the handstand press. Instead of focusing on the negative part, now we are focusing on the concentric part or the positive. The handstand press enables you to use a bit momentum while coming up by using the movement of your legs. This helps you to master the balance and strength in the positive part without having to have the full strength yet that is needed for the handstand push-up. Now these exercises and especially the handstand press and the handstand negative are very hard to learn. But the last exercise in my opinion is the absolute best exercise you should be doing as much as possible because it will get you insanely strong so you will have only to focus on the technique and balance when doing the other exercises. So number one is the handstand push-up against the wall. As soon as you are able to do this exercise, I recommend you to keep doing this exercise a lot because this exercise is the reason I was able to unlock the handstand negative, the handstand press and eventually even the handstand push-up. There's a lot of debate about whether you should do this exercise with your back against the wall or with your chest against the wall. I tried both variations for quite some time and for me personally, back against the wall has made a lot more difference than chest against the wall. It is debated that back against the wall is bad because you have to arch with your lower back and the chest against the wall should prevent this. However, I noticed that when I did not have enough strength yet, I arch with my back anyway in both variations. And because the chest to wall variation is a lot more technical, I just didn't improve after doing this for a long time. So I decided to stick to the back to wall and I just made sure that I was engaging my glutes and my lower abs to protect my lower back and I placed my hands at about 1 feet distance away from the wall. So these are the 5 best exercises to unlock your handstand push-up in my opinion. And I will soon make a video about how I put these exercises into a routine. I hope this will help you to get your handstand push-up a lot faster than I did. And by all means you can always switch things up and try some different exercises every once in a while. If you like this video, comment down below and like and subscribe. Good luck and I'll see you in the next video.